Hello, and welcome to the Virginia Land Title Association 2020 Annual Meeting. I am Megan Maloon, and it has been my pleasure to serve as your president for the 2019-2020 term. Over the past 12 months, we have experienced unprecedented times in our industry and in our everyday lives. Our resilient industry has proven that we are able to band together, transition our ways of doing business, and adapt to new technologies. During this time, VLTA continued our commitment to our membership by delivering valuable education and breaking news informational updates and representing our industry on legislative and regulatory issues. VLTA launched our newly revised pre-licensing course. We also facilitated our first ever virtual town hall to connect with leadership from our partner industry associations. We continue to grow our membership by finding innovative ways to serve you. Thank you for the opportunity to serve as your VLTA president, and I look forward to seeing all of you online at our virtual convention on October 15th and 16th. I am honored to introduce this past year's board. They have been steadfast leaders of the VLTA and steered the organization through what has become known as unprecedented times. Their leadership during the pandemic has been nothing short of dedicated and responsive to our membership. President, Megan Maloon. President-elect, Julie Ann Rutledge. First Vice President, Stuart Skip Sachs. Treasurer, Stephanie Campbell. Secretary, Mary Long. Past President, Sonia Cooper. Director at Large, Ann Taranjo. Events Director, Sharon Kennevin. Education Co-Directors, Stephanie Armstrong and Jen Scraback. Membership Director, Becky Taylor. Examiner Director, Don Tomlinson. Legislative Affairs Director, Norbert Priga. In addition to our hardworking Board of Directors, the VLTA has affiliate representation elsewhere in the industry. I would like to take this time to acknowledge the following individuals. James Pickerel, VLTA lobbyist. Sonia Cooper, VICEB liaison. Catherine Crawford, Elaine Donovan, Myrna Keplinger, and Kevin Pagoda, BOI task force. I am also proud to serve on the BOI task force. Countless hours are spent representing the interests of VLTA members with these organizations and the commitment is certainly appreciated. Good morning and thank you again on behalf of VLTA for joining us this morning. My name is Stephanie Campbell. I currently serve as the VLTA Treasurer. The responsibility of the VLTA Treasurer is to promote fiscal responsibility to ensure the continued viability of the association. This is accomplished by working with the Finance Committee, which is comprised of members of the VLTA Board of Directors. Working together, our goal is to provide financial oversight and annual budgeting. While 2020 has presented a number of challenges due to COVID-19, the financial strength of the Virginia Land Title Association remains strong. In conjunction with our budgeting process, expenses have been well managed and the organization continues to have strong revenue potential from membership dues and our professional development platforms. Good morning. My name is Becky Taylor, Membership Committee Director. The Membership Committee has been a long-standing board and volunteer committee designed to ensure continued membership growth and to bolster member retention efforts. The BLTA has had the good fortune to experience healthy membership recruitment and retention over the last several years. We have spent the last year working on ways to attract new members and enrich the benefits to existing members. As of August 31st, 2020, the VLTA has recruited 76 new members to our organization and held strong at an 82% retention rate. Our priority remains you, our loyal member. We are dedicated to exploring the benefits and services that will provide the greatest impact to you, your firms, and your employees. We thank you for being a dedicated member of the VLTA family. Please do not hesitate to reach out to a member of the committee or VLTA staff. 
Good morning, and thank you again on behalf of VLTA for joining us this morning. My name is Stephanie Armstrong, and I am co-director of education. Education is the cornerstone of the Virginia Land Title Association, but our educational programs this year proved to be challenging in ways unforeseen when we held the first regional seminar in Virginia Beach in February of 2020. The COVID-19 public health crisis resulted in the VLTA canceling the other three regional seminars we had scheduled for 2020. We also made the decision to hold our annual convention virtually for the first time ever. We did hold a virtual town hall that welcomed speakers from other industry, industry groups, including the mortgage bankers, realtors, and attorneys to discuss how COVID-19 has changed the way they do business. Good morning, I am Jen Scraback, Co-Director of Education. The in-person regional sessions and virtual events we hosted this year are available for view on demand on our educational platform located on VLTA's website. We have updated the workshops and added new sessions for your continued educational experience. Every year we work to expand our on-demand workshops to include a diversity of general topics while adding workshops to address our industry's hot topics. Our on-demand platform also currently includes two certification courses, Virginia Certified Title Examiners and Virginia Certified Title Settlement Agents. These courses assist in helping members of the title industry stand out as certified title examiners and settlement agents. Additionally, we offer a pre-licensing course for title insurance agents working towards obtaining their license. Each of these premier programs have been updated to keep the material fresh and relevant. We look forward to seeing you at our upcoming virtual convention, virtual meetings, and future live events. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy taking your continuing education credits with us online at VLTA.org. Hi, this is Sharon with the Events Committee. The Events Committee has been able to accomplish a great deal over the course of this year. With the impact of COVID on in-person educational events, the VLTA Events Committee worked diligently with our Education Committee to ensure virtual training opportunities. Our number one priority remained our membership and the delivery of quality education despite the obstacles we were facing. Additional value was shared with our membership through our webinar series. The virtual town hall event provided great information to our members by utilizing our relationships with other industry associations. These types of programs will be explored in the future as a membership perk. The VLTA annual convention, while virtual in nature, will exceed our members' expectations. Not only is our educational lineup superb, but we will have ensured that all attendees will receive a quality convention experience from their home or office. The program will be hosted on October 15th and 16th. It will feature virtual vendor booths, an attendee scavenger hunt, in a pack silent auction. Don't miss the VLTA 2020 award recipients and board induction ceremony. While we will miss seeing all of our peers in Richmond this year, we look forward to producing a convention of value to you and your employees. Registration is open. Be sure to take a few minutes to sign up for this groundbreaking event. Hi, this is Don Tomlinson, director of the Examiner Magazine Committee. The Examiner had an interesting and exciting year. So much has happened to our industry with COVID and advancements in technology. It has been a unique opportunity to report on all the ups and downs over the last few months. We've continued to push the magazine out quarterly to ensure we are putting out the best content possible. This year, we've taken a new approach to content, ensuring we find a balance between all areas of title. We wanted each issue to have something for our readership. As always, we are always looking for fresh content from our membership. If you have anything you want to share, please contact us. Good morning. I'm Norbert Priga, and I've had the pleasure of serving as your Legislative Affairs Director for the last term. In February of this year, just prior to the COVID shutdowns, 20 members of the VLTA met at the Capitol in Richmond for Lobby Day. Delegate Marcus Simon joined us at the offices of our VLTA lobbyist, James Pickrell, and shared an overview for the day. All in all, we had 28 meetings, 17 of which were with delegates and 11 with senators. 
we were also lucky enough to be able to attend that day's legislative session where Delegate Simon introduced the group to the House of Delegates. The event was very successful and has now become an annual tradition for the committee. Unfortunately, this year's ALTA Advocacy Summit in Washington, D.C. was canceled due to the pandemic. Hopefully, we'll be able to attend next year. In addition to these activities, we remained educated on issues here in the Commonwealth that could have an impact on the industry. We reviewed, with the assistance of Mr. Pickrell, over 60 pieces of proposed legislation affecting the title and settlement agent industry, including tax matters that were introduced during the current Virginia legislative session. The Virginia Bureau of Insurance Task Force continued their monthly meetings with the Virginia Bureau of Insurance. These meetings are vital due to the fact that the Bureau's newly proposed rules regarding data security are in the process of being issued and the upcoming changes to our licensing processes. We continue to coordinate with ALTA on their nationwide e-notary legislative initiative, and we are diligent to expand donations to the VLTA PAC committee. I am happy to speak with any member who may have a specific question regarding our progress on the legislative front. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you. Hello, this is Ann Taranjo, Director at Large. It has become obvious over the last several years that the number of younger professionals joining our industry has dwindled. In response, the VLTA created the Workforce Development Task Force in an effort to attract new members and give existing members opportunities to enhance their operations. It has been a busy yet very productive year. An extensive list of job descriptions and skills was created to assist employers with their job postings, as well as provide insight into the numerous possibilities for individuals that may be looking for a new career. We are conducting research across the state to determine current market and personnel needs. A career path was created, enabling potential members to see all of the various positions and advancement potential. As the majority of industry professionals today have been in it for many, many years, we are adding success stories, spotlighting members and their journeys. This is another great way to expose the vast opportunities in the title insurance field. Our focus now is on developing a mentorship program and a network of individuals to help guide the next generation. Our future goals are to partner with higher education institutions, as well as creating an internship program. We are extremely excited about this initiative and will continue to expand our resources. This is Julie Ann Rutledge, and I served as the VLTA president-elect for the past year. The VLTA board has navigated through many challenges during this past year, including the adjustments necessary to move into a virtual environment for our first ever town hall, for our, for our upcoming convention, and for our education offerings. The direction of your 2021 board will be to continue to strive to meet our mission-related objectives by increasing consumer awareness, advancing public policy and advocacy of the industry, enhancing membership of professional development and accessibility to quality education, and growing revenue to meet our goals. The title industry is in a favorable and positive position. And as we look forward to the upcoming year in 2021, I am excited to navigate the many opportunities that lay ahead for the title industry and for the VLTA. Thank you. This is Lee Hubbard, your Virginia Land Title Association Executive Director. Without you, there would be no VLTA. We appreciate your membership and continued trust in the delivery of quality education and member benefits and services to support you, your firm, and your team. We appreciate you taking the time to tune in to today's annual meeting and for your continued support of the Virginia land title industry. I now propose to the membership the 2020-2021 Virginia Land Title Association Board of Directors. At the conclusion of this meeting, an email will be sent to the eligible voting member of your firm. Please take a moment to cast your vote. President, Julie Ann Rutledge. 
President-elect, Stephanie Campbell. First Vice President, Mary Long. Treasurer, Becky Taylor. Secretary, Stephanie Armstrong. Past President, Megan Malin. Director at Large, Stuart Skip Sachs. Director at Large, Heather Lanahan. Events Director, Sharon Kenavan. Education Co-Director, Amanda Rudolph and Jen Scraback. Membership Director, Ann Taranjo. Examiner Director, Don Tomlinson. And Legislative Affairs Director, Norbert Prega. Thank you for your time, and I encourage you to not only vote for your Board of Directors, but also get involved with the Virginia Land Title Association.